Okay, now we move along to part four, which is a period change. Now remember, a period is the number of degrees to complete one full cycle. And now we're going to be changing with that. Now working with that. Now if we make the change with that, then it's affected by this k value, which is in front of the degrees, the degrees being x. So if we look at a specific example here, we'll look at y equals sine of 2x. Now, if we have our basic sine curve, which is going to be this one here, the full sine curve is our usual one where it starts at 0, goes up down to 180, and then back to 360 again. And to find the period of this new graph, sine 2x, it's always going to be the complete period, which is the normal standard period, sorry, which is 360, divided by this value here, whatever it is. So in this case, it's 360 over 2, which will give us 180. That indicates now if the period is 180, we're going to have one full curve in 180 degrees. In other words, if my domain is 360, I'm going to have two full curves in 360 degrees. So now if we sketch that, I'm going to have one full curve in 180 and a second full curve in 360. And now don't forget we need to go and fill in our label. So at now at 45, it's going to be 1, down to 90. At 135, it will be neg 1, back up to 180. What's that? It's going to be 225, it'll be 1 back down and then last one three one five minus one got my end point got my end point okay so that would be the first one done let's look at a second one okay so here if we have y equals sine of 3x that little k value there is 3 in other words my normal period is 360 but because the k value is 3, it's going to be 360 divided by 3, which means my period of the new graph is 120 degrees. So once again, I've drawn my standard sine curve. Here it is. You should be knowing it very well by now. There's my standard sine curve. But now the period of the new one, sine of 3x, is going to have... A full curve in 120 degrees because the period is 120 so I'm going to complete a full cycle in 120 so up to 120 degrees there's my full cycle then in the next 120 I'm going to have another cycle and in the next 120 I'm gonna have another cycle so up to 360 degrees I'm going to have three full cycles and don't forget we need to label the key values so there's my first maximum at 30 and 1. Then we go down to 60, down to 90 minus 1, up to 150 and 1, down to 210, up to 270, down to 330. So three full curves in 360 degrees. Okay. Now what's useful is when we, when we draw this using our table, and the serious hint is that we're going to use our table function because you want to know what this looks like. And then the question is, what do we go up in steps? Do I go up in 30s or 60s or 90s? If I go up in 90s, if I went up in 90s for this one here, it would never show me the crucial critical values. So what the, the trick that we do is whatever the period is of the graph. So in this one, the period was 120. So I'm going to go up in steps of 120 divided by 4, which is 30 degrees. So on the calculator, when you use the table function, when it asks you what steps you're going to go up in, it's always going to be whatever the period is divided by 4. So in this case, you would go up in steps of 30, and that would give you all the crucial points that you needed, critical points that you needed. So now let's look at another example y equals the sine of half x. So once again, I've drawn my normal sine curve. There it is. Okay, to compare it to now what we're drawing. Now, sine of a half x. So what is my period? 
our period is going to be my normal 360 divided by k, which in this case is a half. 360 divided by half is 720. So I'm going to put one complete full curve in 720. So if I'm only going up to 360, I'm not going to do a full curve. I'm only going to do a half a curve. And there it is. Starting at zero, ending at 360, and my turning point or my maximum is at 180 degrees 1. There you have it. Ah, now we're going to do the tan one. So, let's start with my tan one. This time I haven't drawn my normal tan curve. I've just drawn the, the answer. So, it's tan of 2x. What's my period? My period is going to be my normal 180, because that is the period of a tan graph, divided by 2, because the value there of k is 2. So, it'll be 180 divided by 2, which gives me the period of 90. In other words, in 90 degrees, I'm going to do one full curve. So we go back to using our table function. There we go. What am I going to do steps of? Steps of whatever the period of the graph is. In this case, it was 90 divided by 4, and I get 22.5. So I'm going to go in steps of 22.5. And that gives you a very nice indication of all your important values. And in this case... Let's use our little pink one again. My graph is repeated quite often because it's repeated a full curve every 90 degrees because the period is 90 degrees. So up to 360, I don't only have a few curves, I have a whole lot. And my gap, remember, is there because that gap is from 45 to 135. That's a period or a gap of 90 degrees there. And there you go. The other important thing to remember with the tan curve is always what is its value at 1 or what is the degrees at 1 and it's 22.5 gives you 1. Okay, that's now the tan curve and the period. And then what I would like you to do is go and practice these three examples here. I've given them combinations because what we've done is we've changed the period and we've done something else there. We've done something else there, not there, and then we've done something there. And I've also changed the domains each case. So in these, you want to go and use your table. You want to work out what the new period is. And you want to go up in steps of whatever the new period is over 4. And to get a good idea of what the graph looks like. Good luck. Um, and then that's it for now. We've done all the different um, combinations of what can happen. And the only thing you need to go and practice now is combining all of these and sketching the graphs.